What is up guys, Heart77 here and I'm going to be bringing you um, a player review. This one is the most consistent, the blue card of Cardozo. That's the only card I, man I think he managed to pick up, should I say, uh, in the whole season playing for Benfica. So you can't really miss him, a big blue card. Go out and buy it if uh, you, know, you like my review or if I suggest him at the end. So anyway, I'm going to give you five pros as always. But before I do that, um, I did actually see him play in real life Chelsea against Benfica when I was up at Stamford Bridge. Uh, he did play, well, I wouldn't say he played well, but I saw the way he plays, you know, wins the ball, holds up play and absolutely has a wizard, you know, off a left foot. He's sort of like Van Persie in that sense. His left foot is really good for him. So I'm going to give you five pros. And... Um, the first one's got to be Shun, as I was just saying. It's incredible. You're not going to miss, you know, from outside the box. If you've got the right angle, you're definitely not going to miss. 93 shot power, 89 long shots. Really good, and uh, that's probably my favourite part. Second has got to be free kicks. The best, in my opinion, uh, at free kicks on the game. Uh, obviously, people are going to disagree with that. Everyone has a certain player, but I love his free kicks. And then third has got to be his heading, as you saw there. Um, set up the play nicely to release a really good ball from Shermantino, and then Jeffren puts it in. But uh, Cardozo pretty much set that all up. I just cleared it upfield. He won the header. And, uh, you know, that's what he's good at. So then tying in with, you know, setting up play, his fourth is definitely setting up play. Um, if you pass it to him, he's going to hold up the ball. Obviously, you can't just turn and absolutely, you know, bolt through the defence. So he sets up the play nicely, gets in the box like he just did then and, you know, finished it off there. So his setup play is really, really good. Fifth has got to be strength. I really like his strength. You're not going to get knocks of the ball easy with him. Uh, occasionally, you know, when you come up the likes of Dava Luiz, who is overpowered, as we all know on the game, um, he he was trying to knock him off the ball, but he was sort of, you know, just throwing Dava Luiz on the floor at times, which is uh, really good. And then, uh, so I'm going to give you a quick disadvantage with him and something I really, really don't like. I never thought I would say this, but pace... Normally, I don't have a problem with any player with pace, obviously, unless they're under 70, but his pace seems to let him down. Um, if you're... If you're going to want, you know, that player that's just going to break through defences, he's not going to do it, unfortunately. But he is going to win the ball and set up play. But I'm going to give you uh, his in-game stats now. Ball control 81, 83 curve, 84 dribbling, uh, 92 finishing, free kick accuracy 91, heading accuracy 89, really good there. Long pass uh, 82, long shots 89 and shot power 93, obviously uh his volleys are 86 as well. But as I was going to say, penalties are 89, so he's obviously good at the set pieces. Uh, Two-star weak foot and two-star uh, skills, that's also, you know, really bad. But uh, as you can see, the main thing there is definitely strength 95 and reactions 89. The rest you don't really need to look at. Um, as I said, he seems quite slow. And agility, I've got to say, seems better than 76. But as I was saying, uh, in the penalty box, he is really good. 85 attack positioning and... Um, I've actually done this review a few times now, and I've got to say, he is incredible in the penalty box. Uh, I was saying I like his finishing. Well, he's going to score you loads of tramp goals. If you want that sort of player for 20k, I mean, you can't really go wrong. He's going to get goals for you. He's sort of like um, a crouch for Benfica, if you know what I mean. A crouch for England, he just gets goals, but it doesn't always play well. That's what um, Cardozo is like for me. Uh, I personally think he's a good player, but as I said, the pace lets him down, and that's the only thing that does actually let him down. Um, if you're going to want to score good goals, you know, like long shots, heading, and setting up the play, then he's a complete forward for you, especially for 20k. I mean, you definitely can't go wrong. Um, but I'm actually going to sell him now and try out a few other people. Um, people in his price range are the likes of Lambert. Uh, he's just come out in this team of the year, or, you know, English team of the year. And I've got to say, you've got to go pick him up. He's really, really good. Uh, I've played a couple of games with him, and he is better than Cardozo, in my opinion. So look out for him. He'll probably drop in price, and uh, I believe he's better than Cardozo. Um, but anyway, guys, that is the end of the review. I've suggested a couple of players instead of Cardozo, but as I said, he is a complete forward if you want one for 20k, and he's just going to get goals for you. If you want to win tournaments, he's going to get the goals. So I'll catch you guys there. Adios, amigos.